Hello and welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I have a question. What growing zone are you in and why is it even important? Hmm. Knowing your growing zone is important, especially when it comes to planting gardens, annuals, perennials, plants, shrubs, trees. Uh, it, it can apply to all of them. So first off, you need to understand what a growing zone is. It's also referred to as a hardiness zone. Now the USDA, they have maps that'll tell you basically what growing zone you're in. So how many growing zones are there? Great question. Now some of these zones are actually broken down into subzones. Like here where we're at, we're in, well basically we're right on the edge, 7A, 7B. So we could kind of go one way or the other on that, and I'll explain a little bit more as we go into the video. So what does a growing zone mean to me? Well, it helps the gardener determine what plants are gonna grow at what times of the year in that particular climate. Now another thing that you're going to run across when you start looking at this is called microclimates. Now this really kind of uh, caught my attention when I was reading about it. A microclimate can exist in your own backyard. Even though you might be in say zone 5, 6, 7, whatever, a microclimate could exist where your plants think that they might be in a different zone. Say a valley, it tends to get colder than on top of a hill. So if you have hilly terrain uh, on your property, then remember that in the valley, it's gonna actually get colder. The cold air is gonna sink and stay in that valley for a longer period of time during the day. So it can also happen around structures, uh, cement, blacktop, uh, anything that will warm up during the day and actually hold and radiate that heat, it will change the, uh, the, the subzone or the microclimate around uh, that area. So keep that in mind also. That's kind of trial and error. You got to figure out what's going to work best for you though. So hopefully I've spurred your interest a little bit into what growing zone you might be, especially if you're trying to plant a garden, grow trees, shrubs, annuals, perennials, whatever the case may be. I got a spider uh, <laughs> trying to hang on me right now. Do your research, figure out what's going to grow best for you in your zone and you're probably going to have a little bit better success in the end so that's about all i got thanks for watching i really appreciate it and remember pay attention to the details we'll see you again soon please Bye. subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when i'm doing a new video like this video and leave me a comment down below let me know what you think also feel free to share this with any of your social media sites